Hey everyone, Living in Furnace here. And after that uh, experience of disappointment and pain, that tower. Let's uh, let's get to a shrine. <laughs> it's like right here, in this uh, strange little ridge, with these rocks jutting out. I remember the first time I played this game, this uh, this little canyon sort of thing. It's the first place that I found dragon bone weapons. Quite powerful. Two orbs to guide you. Here we go. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to, you know, put the whole name of this in the video because I think I'm actually. Wait, but I get to. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get to two shrines or three, though. Hmm. Gotta think about that. Because I, I, I put I put aside like the the tower stuff, so I guess because the 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 three shrines I'm getting to in this video are actually fairly close to one another. Um. Anyway, I'll probably just call this one two orbs. You know, it's a close enough description, right? You know, I got the one orb that I think I. I knocked down. Well, there goes another, uh, another shock arrow. Okay, and it kind of rolls on down there. That's all right. Oh, there is the two, the, the second orb. This second orb shall guide me by holding down a switch. Although, I think I can... Yeah, stasis it. And that causes... That to move in and out. So I can go up. I wonder... Okay, the door's not gonna close until I... Yeah, get out of it. Oh, that's that. Let's bounce on... Oh wait, gotta wait, I guess. Probably could have gone there. There we go. Up we go. And I guess uh, I've already used the two orbs, so yeah, that's uh, that's it. But where's the chest? Could it be... Oh, it's just down there. <laughs> Alright. Well... I have to go down and back around again. Oh, I got an another bow, though. Knight's bows are not the best in the game, but they're pretty good. You know, they're pretty, like, um, upper, mid-tier, I guess. You know, you'd say that the... You could say that the spiked boko bows are sort of lower, mid-tier, you know? The one I have is just 12 damage, This, but the knight's bows are 26. So here we are in this strange location. This is the only part in the game, you know, with, with these rocks that have all these holes in them. It's kind of strange, but hey, it's, it's, it's a nice touch, you know? One of the designers was like, hey, you know, I, I want some rocks to look all weird with holes. And they were like, okay, let's put that in like, you know, maybe just a single square kilometer in the game. Why not? <laughs> just a little bit. Um, now where can I find a shrine? Uh, I don't know about the those those bluffs. I'm calling yeah. bluff on the bluffs. Yes, ah. I can. I, I I didn't really read that. <laughs> Something about Gorons and treasure. From what I recall, I think it was something that I've already done before. 
so much for the the advantage of doing post commentary. I just forgot what I what was going on. Uh Oh, oh, is someone in danger? <laughs> Let me just slowly shield surf down. Uh, that lightning rod is not so good. Wow, one hit. Okay, goodbye. I do not need thanks. I, I do this as a volunteer person. Protecting the citizens or the denizens of Hyrule from danger. Because I'm, I'm a hero. And also I don't use, I don't use, you know, food stuffs. You know. You know, I should probably uh, drink that uh, fire potion, fireproof potion that I got from such a person, you know, saving such a person. What is up, Cass? Standing on top there. Mm-hmm. Oh, the, really? The last song? Okay. Um... Kind of an odd song to save for last, but okay. Well, that's pretty simple. Between two rocks. I think that's the... Get the golden bow. The two rings. Alright. <clears throat> well, there are a lot of rings, but they're not all too well aligned. Uh, maybe... Uh, maybe these two? <clears throat> I can stand right next to one of them, like this one, and try to shoot the other one. Uh, oh, maybe the one to the edge there. From this one. Oh, yeah. Easy shot. And I got a phone call. That is complete. <sighs> Phone calls, they come up. Oh dear, and we have yet another shrine quest with a shrine. This one looks actually a bit tricky. Moving in parallel. So I guess that one goes there, and the other one was go... Oh, the, the, the other one was go... No. Well, at least the uh, the thing tips over, so if I get them both in one spot, they go to the other spot. You know? Uh, go back and forth is not a thing that works. <sighs> bring it down. Bring that one. Okay, that one goes down, that one goes that way, this one goes this way, please, thank you. Alright. Well, that works. And I guess that's it for the shrine. A fairly simple one, so... It's appropriate for a shrine, for, for a shrine with the quest, the uh, shrine quest. 
Really, it's just one of the easier ones, because this was a rather simple shrine quest. There's actually another one around here, but that uh, requires uh, the time to be of the the moon. You know, the, the, the blood moon. And, well, that already happened, so I can't get to that for quite some time. Alright. Time to head on out. Uh huh. Oh, across the Tamiyo River. It's not really a ravine. It's it's a river, but it is a uh, it is a rather deep river. Don't want to fall in. I'll be stuck swimming for minutes. I can't imagine how tiring that would be. I would probably run out of stamina by the time I get out of it. Or before I get out of it, you know. So I think the place I'm on is, um... Well, as I mentioned, uh, the tower uncovered an area south of this river. And I think I'm at the base of Satori Mountain. Um... I did not, uh, well, I, I think I panned over it a while ago. There is probably a shrine here on top of the mountain. Well, not on top, but somewhere on it. This is actually a pretty interesting mountain. If you see it from afar, you might find a, uh, a glowing area kind of near the top uh, and that's where you can find a bunch of bloopies and uh, and a stag like bloopy sort of thing a, uh, some kind of um, I don't know what I don't know what it's called but I think it's called some sort of guardian but not like a guardian like the robots just it's just a, you know some kind of spirit thing. <clears throat> it's a mystery. There's probably like some kind of, you know, theory. Oh, you know, this thing symbolizes something in the game, in the real world, and you know... And, you know, has this feature, and it shows up in this place, and this designer put it in there because of this reason. Anyway, we got another shrine. Yes, indeed. A third shrine in one video? Well, it's happened, it's happened once, I think. Once before. Maybe twice. As I said, it's, uh... It's kind of close to the top. Uh, Thunderblade. Oh, well, what do you know? That, uh, that tore into those rocks. Maybe it just got to deal enough damage to such things, or... Or maybe a two-handed weapon is just... Just what works, you know? Here we are. Up we go. Come on, Link. We have some distance to go, apparently. This is probably not the best way to get to this shrine. <laughs> Just climbing around like that. Alright, so what do we have here? Ooh, Synced Swing. This is a, uh, Magnesis Shrine. Those are always fun. I guess Magnesis is my favorite, um, you know, uh, thing. Oops. Horse button. So yeah, Magnesis is my favorite rune. Can move things around so easily, but, uh, now things are gonna get a little tricky with it. I'm not sure if this requires magnesis, but I mean, I, I guess I might as well shoot these down. <laughs> I 
I suppose there might have been some way, like... I don't know. Ooh! Forest Dweller's Spear. I don't know if it has a special attribute, like the, the bow has, but, uh, whatever. So we got of spike, we, we got of, we got, we got a lot of spike balls here. I need to be careful, because they can knock me down. So I bring them up, I put them back down, and then I bring it up. And then I just, I, okay, let that one swing a bit too much, but that's okay, because I am fine. I would like to see where I'm going, please. Well, I can stasis that, get to the chest, and then just run away. I kind of want to have that kind of bow. Yeah, just get rid of a spiked boko. Nice. Got quite a few of those. I should probably go out and buy some, uh, you know, uh, arrows at some point. Although the ones I kind of need are, uh, are shock arrows. As I said, I'm going to run out of those eventually. Ah. Uh, Gonna be uh, a pain. The only place you can actually buy shock arrows is is in Gerudo Town. And as I mentioned, I, I mean, I'm not super fond of the whole cross-dressing link thing, and I don't know how to to find the person, the lady. Well, not lady. The the. Um, the, the person who has that, the, the, the clothes, it's just, I never figured that out. I, I know they show up in the Oasis, which I never, I don't think I showed you much of. But even then, it's just, I don't know. It's just so confusing. Uh, maybe get... This one away. No, wait. I'll get this one over here. <laughs> I don't know. Th th that was a bad idea. I should have brought that one back to the end. Because I, I. Oh dear. Needed it as a stepping stool. Could have just uh, magnesis it in a better way. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> well, that works. Oh dear, I need fire. Why do I need fire? Ugh. Do I have fire? No, electricity doesn't work. <laughs> Yet again, I'm wasting my my uh, shock arrows. Oh boy. All right. Well, these things are swinging back and forth. It's a bit odd to use that golden bow. Uh, yeah, get that thing swinging to and fro. Oh. <laughs> that could have fallen off. They could have uh, gone over the bridge. Oh, boy. Alright, let's magnesis these open. I set magnesis stem open. Okay. And that's that. 